help us get this program back to the solid ground it's always been on. Tony, it's a pleasure to have you here and working with you. Um, let's talk about you coming back to the University of Kentucky being on our staff. How has that been for you? Oh, it's been great. Just learning a lot from you and uh, like I said, just having so many different guys on this team that I can actually teach and have them um, learn more about the NBA. You know, it's, it's a hard thing because again, can't be on the road recruiting, can't be on the floor coaching, uh, but the interaction between he and the players is fun to see. Um, where, who taught you? I mean, when you were in high school, you came out as a great, great shooter. Who was that first person that grabbed you and said, hey, man, you can do this? I think having so many brothers, uh, I have five brothers, so uh, they really taught me the game of basketball, and shooting was something that really came from uh, a lot of practice, and just watching them play, and just getting in, in and out of the gym so much and getting up a lot of rep shots and repetition was one thing that made me a better player. Well, we gotta, we got to get after some of our guys right now, as you know. How about this? You, you, had, uh, you had a record, nine threes in Rupp Arena. We, we busted that out when the kid comes in and gets 11 on us. from right. uh, Where was he from? Sam Houston State. I knew. I thought it was Ryder. I knew <laughs> you'd know exactly who it was. Um, how was it that night, though? You must have been on fire. Um, it was great for me. Just Who was it against? It was actually against, um, I want to say, TCU. It okay. yeah, take me back so many years. But uh, it was a game where, like I said, I went out of the game. I made seven, seven threes. The coach put me back in, and I made two. So it was a record that had been, been there for a number of years. The record had meant to be broken. Well, yeah, we were hoping it was broken by one of our players, not by an opponent. Um, how about the Final Four, your MVP? Um, you guys win it. You know, we play you in right. the semis. You get like seven threes against us, if I remember right. Right. Um, and um, I was at UMass at the time, I yes. say, against us. Um, but that game uh, where you're playing Syracuse in the final game, and, and uh, you know, we're trying to talk to our players about the rush of a team victory right. that you, it's beyond you. Right. The, it's bigger than you. We're trying to convince these young kids that right now, but how did you feel going through that? I think when you have uh, so many good players, especially like our team, is that you have to have, to have the guys that work towards one common goal. And that was the most important thing that, uh, that we were doing was we were working towards uh, was trying to win a championship. And, you know, you have to be unselfish. And I think when you have veteran leadership and just guys that know that the greatest feeling about being in college is winning a championship. You know, the, the, the thing we're trying to teach now, which is that team victory. Uh, you guys never had more than guys playing 23, 22 minutes a game and everybody was fine. Everybody got theirs. You had nine NBA players right. on that team. You shouldn't have lost any games, <laughs> by the way. You had nine. Right. Um, but let me ask you, what would you give to our guards here some advice of what you all went through? Hard work. You know, it's not how you start the season, how you finish the season. Um, let me talk a little bit about your daughter. Um, she has sickle cell. Right. You've started a foundation. Why don't we talk a little bit about that and what you're doing? Yeah, we started the foundation uh, in '03, and we started by doing golf tournaments and uh, just having different charity events. And it's something that's special to me and something that's definitely dear to my heart, uh, trying to reach out and help those family in need, uh, need of like uh, medicine and clothing. And we've been doing it, like I said, now for about six years. Wow. You, you know, touching lives that way. It's a pleasure having you here with us. Uh, being able to mentor guards and mentor our players um, as you have and, and being around such a good person. Right. You guys have that background of, hey, we were in Wildcat Lodge together. Right. We were under this microscope. We had it all coming at us. We had to sacrifice for each other. That message to these guys is so important.